Hi everybody and welcome to Chelsea Groton Bank's Facebook video. This week we're talking about financial terms and um, talking you through what they might mean. Today we're talking about net worth. Um, what is your net worth and how would you figure it out? So your net worth is the assets that either a business or a person owns and then minus their liabilities. Um, so what, what would be an asset? So an asset are things that you have that are valuable. So it could be stocks or bonds, um, the balance of your savings and checking account, um, any the equity in any property you have, like your home or um, land or, or boats or whatever it might be. And then your liabilities are things that you owe. So <clears throat> that could be um, any remainder of the mortgage that you have, um, a credit card bills, student loans, car loans, all of those types of things. And it really just provides a snapshot of um, a person or a, a company's financial position at any one time. So um, even when you apply for a mortgage, they're going to ask you for some of this information and what they're figuring out is your net worth. Um, so how would you figure it out? So consider that um, you had a home whose value was $250,000 and um, an investment portfolio um, that it was $100,000 <clears> and you had a car that was valued at $20,000. Um, and those are your assets. Now your liabilities are that you might have a mortgage balance on that home uh, that is $100,000 and <clears throat> that you've got a car loan out that's $10,000 and you have $5,000 in credit card debt. So basically your assets um, would add up to $370,000 and your liabilities would add up to $115,000. So you subtract 115 from 370 and you get 255 and $255 is your net worth. And so that could be yours or it could be yours as, as a couple um, if you have co-owners and those things. So if you are a married couple or whatever it might be. Um, so I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!